From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Welcome to the Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm Anna Brooks. In a survey recently conducted among 200 IT professionals by Train Ace, in order to evaluate the cyber readiness of their businesses, it's been discovered that of the respondents that experienced a hack or breach, nearly 20% did not have a cyber incident plan in place but are now considering implementing one. All companies have different reasons and needs when it comes to cybersecurity, but it's troublesome to learn that many still don't have the basics in place, such as a cyber incident plan or set of updates or guidelines. Of course, these are generally the companies that learn the hard way after a hack or data breach. The British House of Lords is holding an inquiry into the civil use of drones to determine whether the conditions are right for the industry to take off. How safe are they? What are the economic benefits to the UK and EU of drones? Is the European industry falling too far behind the rest of the world? These are some of the issues that the committee will address in its investigation into remotely piloted aircraft systems. The Iraqis are using a deadly weapon system against the Islamic State of Iraq in Syria or ISIS. This is the Russian-built TOS-1A multiple launch rocket system. It was reported last year that Russia was supplying such weapons and they appear to have been delivered in recent weeks. A simple basic medical device aimed at saving lives on the battlefield was developed and manufactured by a medical startup company based in Renana, Israel. The project is based on the idea of Morris Topaz, a plastic surgeon and the director of the Hillel Yaffe Medical Center Plastic Surgery Unit. Top Closure is a device aimed at temporary quick closure of traumatic injuries on the battlefield or during mass casualty events by medical personnel such as paramedics or even the injured themselves before the arrival of available senior medical personnel. The New America Foundation suggests in a report released Tuesday morning that the U.S. National Security Agency's actions have and will continue to cause significant damage to U.S. interests and the global internet community. The report details how the NSA has been using a variety of programs and methods to collect metadata on internet users and engage in a massive surveillance effort that impacts the global internet community. In the report, the authors move past the debate over trade-offs between national security and individual privacy to focus on the overall costs and benefits of the NSA's programs on the U.S. economy, American foreign policy, and the security of the internet as a whole. Thank you for watching this week's edition. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.